Dreaming of winning the lottery. If you won the lottery or the lotto in a dream, would you go and buy a lottery ticket? Some big winners live to tell that tale, but here's a different story to warm your heart and remind you of the real power of numbers in dreams. Alison once phoned me on a radio show to ask me about her dream of winning the lottery. As she has already shared her dream publicly with the show's listeners, I can share it with you here. The only detail I've changed is her name. Alison's dream was short and simple. Although she had the dream 11 years ago, she had never forgotten it. It intrigued and confused her. In the dream, she won $275,000 on the lotto. That was it, end of dream. But it was so clear and felt so real that she jumped out of bed in the middle of the night to check her lottery ticket. The game would have been drawn before she went to bed, so she was very excited and felt there was a real chance her dream was picking up on her win. So she was disappointed to discover that she hadn't won. She wasn't even close. Her numbers were about as far away from winning as you can get. Why, she asked me on the radio show, did her dream feel so real, yet turn out to be so wrong? What did it really mean, and why a precise figure, $275,000? Being such a short dream, there were a few symbols to work with. Long, detailed dreams are rich with clues that enable accurate interpretation. Alison's dream gave two symbols, a lottery win and $275,000. At the time of your dream 11 years ago, I began, what gave you the feeling of a sudden win? I reminded Alison not to think about money, but to think about a feeling of winning perhaps against the odds. I had just met a new man and he was really kind, she said. Could that be it? I said that if she felt like she was onto a winner with this man, then this could be a strong clue in interpreting her dream. To have a feeling of suddenly winning, you must have experienced a period of not winning, of losing, I suggested. What had you lost? Alison's instant thought was her divorce, which had been very traumatic for her, a time of much loss. At the time of her dream, she was beginning to move on from a sense of loss to a sense of gain, a sense of winning. It wasn't just about winning a potential new partner in the shape of the man she had just met. It was more about facing her losses square on, moving through the grief and trauma, and emerging with new winning insights about relationships and life. At the time of her dream, she was beginning to get the very real feeling that life was on the up and that she was past counting her losses and into counting her gains. But why $275,000? When a number comes up in a dream, I explained, it's usually pretty accurate in a mind-blowing way, though it can take a while to pinpoint it. When you make the connection, you'll absolutely know it's right, but drop the zeros and maybe add some decimal points. Dreams go for drama and emphasis. We were looking for a connection in Alison's past between 275 and a feeling of sudden winning, a connection her dreaming brain or unconscious mind had made, but of which her conscious mind was as yet unaware. I offered a list of possibilities. Have you ever lived in a house number 275? Travelled regularly by bus or train, number 275? Had 275 as an ID somewhere? What happened for you on the 27th of May, 27 slash 5, one year? Or in February 1975, 2 75? Nothing comes to me, I'd have to think about it, Alison said. What happened when you were 27.5 years old, I asked. Nothing really. Kids were small. And 27.5 years ago? Again, a blank. And, and not surprisingly, considering Alison was aware she was speaking on radio, trying to answer my quick-fire questions immediately. 
have a think about it over the next couple of weeks, I suggested, and, and give the radio station a call when you get it, because it is meaningful and all the listeners would love to know. I deeply appreciate people who take the time to call the radio with a dream because their generosity of sharing helps other listeners to understand their own dreams. So it's always good when the caller gets back with an insight to add, I knew the $275,000 penny would drop soon for Alison. It dropped as soon as she put the phone down. We went to a short ad break and she phoned the radio show back during that time. My marriage lasted exactly 27.5 years, she said. The bottom line of Alison's dream was that she had finally converted her 27.5 loss into a win. She had come through the trauma with a new sense of being on the winning side of life again. Who knows, maybe she even had a sense that she'd increased her gains by a factor of 10,000, converting 27.5 years of loss into 275,000 years worth of gain, all claimable now with her winning ticket to her new lease of life. What's winning the lottery compared to turning your life around? If Alison had understood her dream at the time, 11 years ago, It would have helped to put the past trauma in perspective and to acknowledge and appreciate what her unconscious mind already felt, a sense of reward ahead, the sunshine after the rain. Whenever a dream presents a number or an age, it's a very strong clue to interpretation and enlightenment. So work on it following the guidelines I've given. You'll always get results. And isn't it staggering that our dreams, which are usually so bizarre, surreal and illogical, always seem to get the numbers spot on. There's gold in your dreams and winning numbers too. Just don't waste them by putting them on the lottery. Work with them for rewards greater than lottery winnings can ever buy. I'm Jane Teresa Anderson. For more on dreams and dreaming, visit my website at janetheresa.com, that's Teresa without an H, and you'll find the link in the details box below this video, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for listening.